And so today, as you say yes to one another, you say yes to God's greatest commandment, to love. It's not an exaggeration to say that this is a match made in heaven with an assist from a saint, Saint Bonaventure. The name Bonaventure translated literally means good fortune, good luck. Love is blind but helps you see. It makes you cry, makes you believe. It spins you round and round. Comes you back on stable ground. But I. of parents who love you so much, with your siblings, with families and the whole basilica full of people who are cheering for you, we simply wish you the very best as Ben and his beautiful Bonnie bride prepare to become husband and wife. Brothers and sisters, let mutual love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful as prisoners as of sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we must say with confidence, the Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. Seth and Ben have been put through a lot of tests during their relationship. From graduating college and grad school to moving to Boston to beating Steph's battle with cancer, they've never left each other's side. Through it all, you have had such a deep-rooted friendship and an unconditional love. Ben, I couldn't have picked a more perfect match for Steph if I tried. I have no doubt in my mind that God made you for each other. Steph, you've always brought the best out of Ben. You've traveled the world together, but most importantly, you always make each other smile. Ultimately, all of those dates have led us here today, December 10th, 2022. On an absolutely gorgeous winter night, we're here to celebrate the new Mr. and Mrs. Marcus.